Everyone, welcome back to another round of Phoenix Rights! Yeah, kind of stone you trying to pull, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be boring as all the rest. Very well. Let's have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. What the? Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh, yes. The samurai spirit. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use a heavy spear as a weapon? I think you would have had a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Ha. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning, the samurai spirit was not the murder weapon. Well, what is the meaning of this? The spirit was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the steel samurai was not used as the murder weapon. What could it have been? Oh, damn it, I haven't said anything yet. I know you well enough by now to know when you're drawing and present the wrong evidence. It's something to do with my fade blood. Okay, okay, so I could wrong evidence. I know for the, all the sensing. Right, okay, here's the real evidence, Your Honor. I can prove that it's still. Okay, oh, well, oh, wait. Um, hold on. It, well, first off, the thing is broken, right? No. Huh. Hang on a second. Here's my spirit. I present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. You remember that this spear broke during the morning. Action scene run through. But someone fixed it with the spear. It was a security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Order, order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? I think about, I think, think about what you're... Silence. I'm the one testifying here and I will be heard. Mm. Are you quite insane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder one, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what, you, what weapons was used to kill Hammer? Would I make a claim if I, like that if I didn't? couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be on fire, Mr. Wright. Very well. Let's see this murder weapon. Now we can present this. Look at this photo. What is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing on top of the stairs. Order! Order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is, all, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of the very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth. You still can't see it? See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? Wha- What? Are you saying- Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. Mr. Wright, continue! It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did. She puts Mr. Hammer, Mr. Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had done and had himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Ho oh, ho. Very creative, Mr. Ryan. I could use a man like you. 
script writing staff. You deny what I say is true. Mr. Wright. Let's say for the sake of the heart of the argument. The hammer died at the trailer, as you say. Yet the body was found in Studio One was a mine. And the evil magistrate's costume no less. And then you and then and are you claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The break, in, the break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jackhammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death if he carried to the studio one and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Indeed. Well, Mr. Brad, how could she have dealt with the body? Well, she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hand. For instance, actually, without her, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. There was a way for you to carry that body. Uh, interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Obviously, she uses this plate, right? Am I right? No. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One. And you used this studio van to do it. Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal after, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body to the Magistrate costume. Hold on, right? Don't forget, it was Sal Manella who drove that van. Or that drove that van. Are you suggesting Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course, Sal Manella had, has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van, put into the costume. There's no way Ms. Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai's costume. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. Probably burned it in the small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Hmm. I lose. You win. It was fun. What? I win? What? Um. So, what happens next? Don't me. Don't you have something to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. I just said that. Wait, so you mean. Do you ask So it was you? You killed Jack Hammer? Any day now? Who can say? Bruh. Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, you just engaged in a battle of wits. And the results of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right! But, that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Order! Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Uh, uh. Of course it's as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there's no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you have no more questions, I'll be leaving. Eric, what do I do now? Miss Vasquez, you did it. That wasn't a question. Um, did you do it? No. Is it right? Yes, Your Honor. I'm not sure that question has helped this court get any closer to the verdict. Eric, what do I do now? I'd 
like you to testify again. Testify again? I want to give up, Mr. Ray. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Ray. I've already said all there, that there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh, you ask the same questions. You get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. Damn! To come so far only to fall! Questions. I would like to end this cross examination on the witness, Miss Vasquez. Objection! Uh, yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Edgerton. I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I did. Wow! Thanks, Edgeworth. I see very well. Objection! Your Honor! I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I just want to hear your testimony. Does this make any sense to you, Mr. Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Mm, well, yes, um... Indeed. Very, verily, I say ergo. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body. Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Nick, why did Edgeworth? Who knows? He probably realized she did it too. But, but, wasn't he the one who said that he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that, Edgeworth. I was, I was with Sal and the old bag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, and Powers showed up. Security lady, old bag, was quite agitated. Pointing at power, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, you're, you're close to Okay, Nick, we're close, we're close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to fall to. Find the key you need and twist the truth, the truth out of her, Nick. Right, got this. Alright, time for the. Hmm. Sound will bang and secure them. Found the body, a system was there too, only powers was absent. Me and the call the police, the powers were up. What was everyone else doing at the time? No one said a thing. It was just silence. Completely silent. We stood there until powers found the rock scene. Sorry, sorry, I'm late. Then silence. Dead silence. Silence. Hey, hey Nick, why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up. You asked to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in the meeting. There was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. They covered for you. Or covered it up for you. There must have been a lot riding on it with all these big wins at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require a question. I'm back to the shirt to get my script and her direction notes. The script and her direction notes. Yes, they're quite valuable. They wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder, after all. Who could, have think who could think of rehearsing after that? Well, yeah, I guess. Very well. Ms. Vasquez, please continue. Objection! Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think! Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have known, had to know about the murder. She would have, she would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Edgeworth, why are you helping us? Come on, man, it's my job. Don't take it from me. Order, order, Mr. Edgeworth. What have you just said? What you just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. 
or are you thinking of a career change to the defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand on my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees, sees my role here. And I was Vasquez. Do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. So the prosecution is in the who to the defense? What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there, are, there were to be no rehearsal. Very well, the witness will change their testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left him behind. Hold on a um, second! Hammer was not hurt, it was powers. Hold on a second! Wow. Is it like the point of the present or the spear? There you go. You knew that Hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was a steel samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. What? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pretending? One person was injured in the run through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why do you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I already said it was Sal who told me. That's right. He must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manila was at the run through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Harrow limping with your own eyes. Yes, but... Was it wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! And when was he doing this? It would have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly! Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Harrow was in the Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Harrow who had been injured that morning. Order! Order! I will have order. Witness. Can you refute this claim? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Irk. It has to be about motive, huh? Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing! Yes, you would need a motive. Well, why would you have killed the victim? There's a reason it is unclear to this court. This is a defense of anything to say on that matter. In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Nick, no! Saying you can't prove it when that would be admitting defeat. She'll get away. But what proof could I possibly have? I don't care if it's impossible, you still have to fight this. Ugh. Fine, I'll prove it, I'll show it to you. <laughs> I present to the court evidence. As Miss, as to Miss Vasquez's murder, and what would it be besides this? Obviously, this van. Yeah, it'll be the five-year-old actor. This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With E. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, a case currently up for trial. It began on that day, five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident pre precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, T. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. <laughs> Bringing us to the present, present day and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly, it was a constant source of shame for the X Star. Hmm. No 
have motives here, right? What are we are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if, as if it was Mr. Hammer who killed Mr. D. Vasquez, not the other way around. But a mo what motive would Miss D. Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have no reason to kill Mr. Hammer. He was a good source of income for me, and I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, is his claim Miss Vasquez is a motive for murder. Well, she really had no motive. This book actually wasn't premeditated. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? That's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? What? Your Honor. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore this costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. And then Jack Hammer, man, you gotta, you gotta like use pronouns. Made his way into the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had him so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. That's it. That's, that's all. That's the entire break. That's breaking the pipe at. So you did do it, didn't you? It's a little bit of a letdown or a breakdown, but, but yes, I'm guilty. Some, some serious person. Knows me. Someone call an ambulance. There's blood everywhere. We're too late. Ah, Miss Vasquez. What? What? What happened here? Some dude. Some. Yeah. Oh man. Manuel. 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 She's trying to marry. No, no, how could this? It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing his action scene at the end. No, but well, but well. Don't touch him! Mr. Vasquez. <laughs> Please don't die. Plus, Polaris. No! Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. Where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. It appears you have brought me about another, yet another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should have been found is so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers! Guilty as charged of being not guilty. Yeah, that, that made sense. That is all. Court is adjourned. Finally completed this episode after like a month. Shut up, Fred. Oi, I don't know what okay. to say. Thank you so happened? much. I'm so glad you're okay. Yes. Yeah, the power uh, started uh, to put it earlier. I know that Asian that my it's better not if he wanted to kill Mr. Vasquez, but to think that he would try to break me for the murder it makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. Why does Mr. Hammond want to blame me? Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammond wanted to put the blame on you because. It's because you were at the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammond was a big star once. But he was reduced to acting in a kid's show, and as a villain to boot. The kids loved the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. But, I think I understand. He could have just told me. Yeah, I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad I told him. So am I. So am I. Yeah, stars are power to be. Oh, oh, hey, hey. Thanks to you, I'll be able to done. Still Samurai off at once more. I can't wait to get back to that sweaty costume. Here. Is something wrong? No, of course not. Ah! Nick! Edgeworth! Whoa, 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 hold on, what you want? 
say something, right? I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Uh, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No. I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gone away if you hadn't stepped in. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Bowers. Sniff. Uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Why? Right. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. We'll meet again. However, in retrospect, it would have been better if we had we not met. Thanks to you, I was saddled with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings. Yes, unease and uncertainty. Are those kinds? Are those kind of necessary? They only sort of get in my way. You listen to me. You listen to me, Phoenix. Right? Don't ever so show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, uh, Mr. Wright? Is, is this guy your friend? What? Friends? As if? They're rivals, rivals, right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick, tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? Good question. So the curtain closes on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing the accident from five years ago. It was quite the talk of the town. Thankful the global studios we thought it's programming change. They went back to making kid shows again. Um Well, Will Powers. Nick, this is it. The new show starts today. You're gonna watch it with me, right? Man, Will Powers, I didn't know you were gonna be a princess. I'll admit, I was kinda surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy the train cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and the, that assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that Cody you gets to play the lead again? Wait, what? Hold on. You, you, he's the princess? I wonder if he'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for that real, for the real world virus. He's gonna play a girl. Also, the fact that also, also Will Powers, we're sorry, but like it took a while for you to be acquitted because Asians are procrastinator, so it took a month. That's why it took a month. Shut up. You can shut up. That's a you can shut up. Shut up! I'll see you guys in the next part, so shut up! Yeah!